in a collision near Victoria Station. The woman in her 30s was hit by a lorry turning left into Victoria Street at around 8 o'clock this morning. She died at the scene. The company which owns the lorry says it was fitted with safety devices and warning signs. Workers on a building site nearby said the cyclist had been asking for directions shortly before the accident. She was in the holding bay up the top there and she was asking for directions and one of the guys spoke to her but I don't know what was said, you know. And then obviously she came down this way and the lorry's just hit her. We saw the driver get out of the lorry, he walked round to the side of the lorry, looked down, saw what he saw, went back onto the uh, barriers and he just put his head down resting and then he started getting really upset. Police investigating the death of a six-week-old baby are appealing for help in tracing someone they think could be a vital witness. This woman, seen at Tooting Broadway Station in November last year, is believed to have checked on the welfare of the baby boy who was travelling with another woman. The baby later died at his home. A man and a woman in their 40s have been charged in connection with the death. Faith leaders are taking part in a pilgrimage across the capital to call for peace. Those taking part in the march shared a moment of reflection at Regent's Park Mosque, the central synagogue in Great Portland Street and Westminster Abbey. The pilgrimage is now moving on to visit Parliament and St Thomas's Hospital to demonstrate a united love of democracy and shared respect for life. It's really important in these troubled times that people of faith stand up and be counted as if you like, if we walk out and show that we are actually standing as people of peace, that um, sometimes our faiths get hijacked, if you like, by extremists who pervert them for their own agenda. And we're walking today to show that as people of faith, we are people of peace and love, that we stand for a common love of humanity, common respect for the sanctity of life, common love of democracy. That's what we're here for. That's why we're out walking today. Now, let's have a look at the weather that they and everybody else will face with Manala Luki. Ooh, shut the window, Janet. My eye is watering. Hello there, good afternoon to you. You'll have to keep your umbrella to hand over the next couple of days. We've got a wet afternoon ahead, a wet rush hour to watch out for today, and more rain in the forecast for tomorrow. So for this afternoon, outbreaks of rain, the rain heavy at times, temperatures on the face of it not too bad, 7 or 8 degrees Celsius, but there will be quite a bit of a breeze outside as well. The rain will clear overnight tonight, giving us a dry start to the day tomorrow morning. A few breaks in the cloud to give us some bright spells, but rain pushing in through the latter part of the morning, it will gradually clear through to the end of the day, temperatures between 5 and 7 degrees Celsius. New Covent Garden Soup sponsors the ITV London weekday weather. And if you're still wondering what to have for dinner, how about tucking into a plate of the best fish and chips anywhere in Britain? A takeaway in East London has been crowned the UK's best chippy. You can find out exactly where it is and what makes it so special by going to our website at the usual address, itv.com forward slash London. And that is it from us. We'll be back at six o'clock. Until then, a very good afternoon to you. Bye-bye.